Hello, my name is Helen Cummins and I'm here today in Deja with our new friend, Maria. And we're going to talk about Maria's journey to finding and creating her home here in Deja. Maria, thank you very much for having us here in your house. It's and what a beautiful pleasure. house it is. Thank you. Yes, so you've just recently moved in. Yes, in July. In July this yeah. year. So could you tell us a little bit about the background to finding this beautiful place? Yeah, so um, I came to Mallorca in 2022. Uh, and I, I kind of already knew that I wanted to buy something, even though I'd never lived here. So that was a bit of a gamble. Um, and so I started really looking for places right off the bat and contacted you guys because um, you had been my source of everything oh, thank you. before honestly though before I um before I got here so I'd like scoured your website for all this stuff and I actually feel like I, I learned quite a lot from that but I just figured like who better to call than you guys and um then got put in touch with Lucy and we started kind of looking at things right away uh and had you already decided on Deia or were you still open to other locations I was pretty set on Deia yeah yeah like because my way of finding Dea was kind of a bit magical. How did you find Dea? Well, I, I came here for a dinner for one night when I was 23 and um, with my parents at the time. And there, it was just, and you hear this a lot with Dea, especially that there's kind of an intuitive hit. And um, I just knew that I wanted to come back here in one way or another. And then, you know, 15 years later or whatever. 15 years yeah. later. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So you just spent one night having dinner here and already it kind of had you hooked. It was really weird. I didn't even really walk into the village. I don't know. It was something about it. Wow. Yeah. Just the energy of the place? I guess so. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and, and I didn't even really even know anything about the kind of art artistic history of or anything like that. I just... Loved so all it. that came out came afterwards. Yeah. So before you bought, because you did spend about two years looking, right? Before yeah. you found a place, you were already settled here, though, renting and getting yes. to know people. Yeah. Was that a good a good time for you to get to know better the the village and the people and everything? Absolutely. Yeah. I I mean that was really really an important part for me. I rented a house for four months when I first got here, uh, just actually just down the road. And it was great. It was it was perfect. I came in the winter, which was I, an ideal move, actually, in hindsight, because it meant that it was just really the core uh, residence. Core vi village. Yeah. People, yeah. And so and, and I think in the in the winter here, especially because everything's closed, there's maybe two restaurants that are still open. So it's a lot. The community just gathers around fires. Really? Yeah. In people's homes or yeah, where? People's where homes. I, I met a lot of people at, at a gallery opening in the residencia. Um, and just there was an openness. And I was also very open. So, you know, it's kind of, I just said yes to everything for like a full year. Mm. And, and then, I don't know, and it just clicked. I think the personality mm. here and myself just clicked. And would you say it's one of the big advantages of living in Dea that you have this whole extended Absolutely. community? Yeah, it, I, I couldn't. Have, I kind of realized there's a podcast called Dea Unpacked, which is wonderful, which is run by um, a resident and a friend called Tara. Who, and I'd kind of been listening to that, and it was just such like lovely, inspiring stories of people who moved here who wanted to do something slightly different. Um, and yeah, the community is just magic, like a lot of uh, kind of more unconventional structures of family, a lot of amazing women. So there's kind of, you know, the, the, the women who have children here, there's they all mother each other, you know, like mother each other's kids. And, and it's very and then if someone is is having a birthday or is playing a gig in Safonda, everyone pitches up it's so sweet and there's this kind of also this intergenerational friendship loom that is just lovely like some of my really close friends are 24 and some of them are 65 and that you don't you don't get that in Normally, cities no. you really oh, don't 
Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, really. So you found your family, huh? Kind of. You found a hundred new family members. Wow, and yeah. it's so cosmopolitan here in Dea, isn't it? There's yeah. people from all over the world. I was talking to someone who used to live here who was like, yeah, you know, when I was in Dea, everyone thinks, feels like they're in the center of the world in Dea. It's a really weird thing, but I do kind of feel like I, it, I, I might as well be in London in terms of the cosmopolitan feel and how, yeah, which I kind of thought was interesting because it doesn't, it doesn't feel like a village. It is quite transient and in yeah. the summer months, obviously it gets, gets kind of busy, but I don't really mind sharing that with tourists because it's, you know, it's kind of such a beautiful gift. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Super. You used um, a property buyer's agent, i.e. Lucy, our, our wonderful yes. Lucy, um, to find your dream home. What was that like? What was the, what was the advantages, let's say, of using the service? I mean, it was the, the game changer because I don't speak Spanish well. <laughs> The, the yeah, work is, it's a work, it's in a work in progress. Seems to be getting worse by the day, but I'm gonna, I'm sure, I'm gonna keep going. Um, uh, and yeah, just to have someone who knows the market, knows how to, you know, navigate setting up. And we would, you know, we would go see two or three houses in the day. I didn't have to make any appointments for myself. And then later on in the process too, I, it just felt really easy. The whole thing felt really easy and. I don't, yeah, I don't, I've never bought a house before this one, so I don't know if it generally feels easy, but I, I don't think it always feels that easy, and it just felt very streamlined, and, and also I would say, and I don't know how you feel about this, but I would say that, like, there's something about that your company is, like, female-run, and, like, I never felt like I was dealing with, like, an estate agent okay. kind of vibe at all. It was, like, someone who had a lot of um, sincere investment in my fit, like a, a good fit for me. Mm. And th there was so, just something about it. It was never felt pushy. It never felt um, like like she wanted to like make a sale at all. It was, it was literally like, we'll wait. Cause then the process took two years. So, you know, it was just, we'll wait. And then mm -hmm. there was points where we wouldn't talk for kind of four or five months and then something would come up or we'd check in again. And um, yeah, it was ideal. I don't know how I would have done it without her, to be honest. Yeah. So, and we're, we're pals now. Good. I mean, yeah. But so. there's a lot more also to buying a property, isn't there? Because you have to get your knee number and you need the lawyer yes. and you need to look about the tax and you need the bank account and you need, there's like a lot of things oh, yeah. that, and especially if it's your first time, you may not think about in advance, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, and that whole process was also just kind of easy. Yeah, it was made easy because somebody yeah. was recommending you the right people and, and, and the whole thing flowed. Exactly. Was there any point where uh, Lucy was saying, don't buy that, don't buy that, don't go down this path, stop? I No, but I, 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 she, she too didn't. She, I think that, and that was what was really nice about it, is that there was, there was like a, a patience and a, well, you know, Find, helping me find my own way, mm -hmm. which like as a facilitator and coach, like I also coach people, yes. that's the whole thing, right? Yes. You ask questions and you pull out, the, and, and I think that's also what it takes to make a match with a home. Yes. And so we did, we saw some properties that were a terrible fit and Lucy would be just like really honest in the amount of work that it would probably take. And, but she would, not you know, she, I think she would have supported me whatever mm. I wanted to do, mm. and also have been able to provide the right support from contractors or whatever, you know, just, just yeah. set me just, up. In just it. to get there. Yeah. Now that you're settled, mm -hmm. how does the dream lifestyle that you had at the beginning of the journey match what you're actually living now? I think it keeps getting better. Really? Yeah. It's better than yeah. what you were dreaming. That's amazing. Yeah, because it's 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 day to day now, and I can walk and swim, and and I just I know the village and I know the people. So do you go swimming in the morning? Or? You know what? I did my first morning swim yesterday, wow. and it was like I felt like I was reborn. It was a total game changer. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's my plan for the winter is to get a, like a very thin wetsuit and to kind of Go, go swimming, go swimming each day. every day. Yeah. So you're planning to be the more or less here all year. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm you're right. settled yeah. here. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Super. Yeah. Uh, final question. Now that you've been through the whole process, uh, what advice would you give somebody who's at the start of their dream journey of transitioning to Mallorca? Uh, okay, so I think in terms of when to do it, November, October, November is great. The lower seasons. 100%. Yeah. The rentals are cheaper if you want to just rent yeah. to check it out. But there's also wherever you go, you'll be with the people who are here year round. Yeah. So you'll meet the community. And you kind of see the more authentic side, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Because some people can get a little bit misled when they, yes. in summertime when the sun, you know, everything is beautiful and, and so on. And it's important to see it at another time. I mean, personally, I think that Mallorca is more beautiful from beginning November until Me maybe too. May. I think it's at its most beautiful. Me too. But you have to experience that yourself. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, it was just so magical when I got here. Like, I got here in November. By December, by Christmas Day, I was having, like, a barbecue with my, like, newfound day of fam on, on, at the Cala. The beach. Wow. And yeah, and, and that must have been a dream. I'm sure you were pinching yourself saying, Is this for real? It was amazing. My mom was like helping out, putting sausages on the barbecue. Oh, she was nice. like, It's not your average Christmas. Great. It was amazing. Um, so, just yeah. any other advice that so the, you would take? That would be uh, the first. And the second would be um, know yourself. Know like, yourself. know thyself. Like, if you're into renovations, do something amazing with renovations. There was one property that we looked at that was so cool, so quirky, but it would have been a nightmare to renovate in terms of the, all the pipes needed to be redone, and the electricity needed to be done, all that kind of stuff. And like, it, it really does become uh, your life for a while. And I, I have lots of other passions and lots of other things that I'm better at than, than that. Um, because a renovation, it really takes over your yeah, life, doesn't it, for a few years? Exactly. And you opted for a new build, and yes. it sounds like that you were really happy with that decision. Absolutely. Like, I think, yeah, the ease at which, you know, I've got underfloor heating, and I've got air conditioning, and I've got all the stuff, and all the showers, and everything is very intuitive in terms of where the sockets are, just stuff like that. If I had to think about that stuff, I would, oh man, not my, not my remit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so good you didn't go that far. Yeah, like really, <laughs> and yeah. But in the end, yes, you found something that really matched your, because it does sound quite glamorous, doesn't it? Come to Mallorca, find some beautiful Mediterranean ruin that you're going to rebuild. Yeah. But the reality is quite a, another story, right? Totally. And it just, it's just whether it's a personality fit or not. Mm -hmm. And for mm -hmm. me, I'm just so glad. I didn't go down that road because yeah. it's very easy to be drawn in by the like glitz of the dream. And there's some really nice, I mean, when you look at your property, it is very authentic Mediterranean, oh, absolutely. but with all the mod cons, right? So yeah. this is, this is beautiful living, right? I mean, I lucked out so hard. Yeah. Super. So, very so any final word um, about the whole journey of living in finding after 15 years finding your home is it amazing yeah I, I mean I say like if it's something that you're thinking about uh, taking small steps you know what I mean I think sometimes it's easy to be like I'm here and I want to be over here and getting there just feels impossible but it's like what is the one tiny thing that I can do today which is like what I did I was just called the estate agent here and I was like do you have any rentals available for four months? And they got back to me like three days later and were like, here's a list. And that, you know, and that was one little thing that I did mm. instead of this pipe dream that I thought would never happen, just like taking kind of turtle steps. Little steps. Towards the goal. And then we have many people who contact us before they even move here and they, they can have a Zoom call with us. I did that. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's a great starting point 100%. as well. Because if you're not, I mean, in your case, you were pretty connected with Deia. But many people, they, they're open, they're, they're, yeah. they just need some guidance. They have a dream of a lifestyle that they want to live, but yeah. they're not sure which area is going to 
be the best to facilitate that. And I think a Zoom call can often clarify, certainly we can be better at guiding people which area you're going to find that yes. what you're looking for. And I always find that, you know, that's a great starting point. It's like, book the Zoom and then you're getting a start. That's a, that's a turtle step, right? Yeah. Exactly. No, I, 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 I totally did that. I think I did that right afterwards. Yeah. And, yeah. and also your website is just amazing the thank amount of detail you. in it yeah i think for anyone looking it's like a gold mine so thank you thank yeah. you great maria i wish you all the best thank many you. many years of happiness and fulfillment and joy here in Daya in your new home and thank, thank you. you for having us and thank you for everything you did for me so. <laughs> okay pleasure <Yay. laughs> thank you so if you like maria have a dream of one day living in mallorca you know what to do. Book the Zoom call and start. And as Maria advised, little steps can one day lead to fulfilling your dream. Thank you. Mm -hmm.